Hey guys and welcome to Honest Reviews by Christine and another video. Today I'm reviewing this solar powered backpack. So it has a one solar panel uh, and I got it because uh, I tend to forget to charge my portable batteries and I end up uh, with my cell phone dead, which is not a good thing on a hike. I usually do day hikes only. So this backpack is actually a little bit too big for me um, because it has a lot of space. For an overnight pack, this is probably a good size or if you're traveling, I think it's a perfect travel pack. So let's look from the outside. It has this uh, solar pad and it unzips right over here. You can take it off completely and put it away. And it has this um, mesh thing where you can store uh, your power cord. As you can see, I have the instruction here and there's a, a power cord right over here. There's a USB plug right here. And then uh, on the bottom, it's attached with a Velcro. So again, you can completely remove it and just use it as a regular backpack. It has a, a port here either for your water, uh, for the hose, uh, or for uh, your headphones, whatever you prefer, depends on, uh, depending on the size of uh, your water hose. Um, it has two main compartments. This is the smaller one, and honestly, it really is quite large. It has a couple of small pockets here, and it opens quite a bit. So you can see the pockets here, and this is the exit for the port. And then the second compartment is the main compartment. Again, it opens almost completely, which is very convenient if you are using it for, uh, as a travel pack, uh, you don't have to dig through. Um, also, it's a, you can um, compress it and put it in this a little bag or use this as a storage. So you can actually turn it this way and put the whole pack into this little pouch. The zippers seem to work pretty well and I also like that they have these thingies so it makes it easier to zip back and forth. The um, the handles, there's, there's a little bit of padding but not that much so they're pretty thin which makes this backpack quite light in weight um, and they're completely adjustable. I use this smaller setting as always. It also has a chest strap or a belt strap and you can adjust it by uh, moving this forward, uh, back and forth like that. Uh, I find, I found that the waist setting is not, does not work as well because it's not low enough. So I think it's more for the chest than for the waist. It also has compression straps right here. So you can actually adjust it. So like from over here, if you need to reduce the size, uh, there are two on each side and they work pretty well. I haven't really used it just because um, it's, I haven't used it as a travel backpack. They also have, uh, the backpack also has the two pockets on both sides. They're pretty stretchy so you can fit any size water bottle really and they're very uh, deep so the water bottle won't fall out. And one thing I want to mention is that the straps, um, they're a little bit too close together for my liking. So during the summer months I would say they might rub against your neck a little bit. Um, so as a recommendation of, to the company, I don't know if they're watching it, but to place them further apart for, uh, for regular consumers, just make sure you have your neck protected so that you don't have any redness associated with that because these, these might touch your neck and rub against your neck. That's the only complaint that I have. Other than that, again, very lightweight, has lots of space, seems pretty, pretty well made, all the uh, zippers work well and the seams look pretty uh, good. And, the, um, and of course, um, this thing works pretty good as well. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to submit them in the comment section below. Take care.